Hi, this is Russ from Protoss Expert, and I've got some really interesting news. When I saw the news of the new Thunderbolt from Apollo last night, I was intrigued that it said it was qualified for the MacBook Air. Now, in our first tests, uh, we hadn't been able to use it on my MacBook Air, which is this one sitting here. And this MacBook Air is a 1.8 i5 with 4 gig of memory. So, uh, the first time I tried it, I was kind of plugging it in and out and trying to break it. So, what I decided to do was do what I should have done in the first place, which was connect my Thunderbolt to my Omnibox and then connect my Thunderbolts to my Mac and then boot it all up from scratch and I managed to get it to launch first time. So I've loaded in quite a monster session with plugins. You can see the channel strips going across it. Uh, we've got Reverb on there as well. We've got Maxim going. I don't have any of my regular plugins because I'm on my MacBook Air and all my studio stuff is uh, doing its usual stuff. So really, really interesting. So I decided to load one in and see what would happen. So I've loaded in this session, which is, as you can see, 40 tracks and see what would happen, see if it would work. And using Timeline Cache, of course, because it's HD, and you would get HD if you bought a Thunderbolt box. So I'm using the Timeline Cache as well. So uh, it's fine, playing away. Instant playback. Go further on the track where we've got all those BVs kicking in as well. And as you can see, the CPU is kicking in at about 20%. What I haven't tried yet is recording. I've got no recording set up with this, but what I could do, I suppose, is I could create 16 more tracks or something. Uh, so let me show you where we are with the playback engine. Uh, the playback engine is at 256 samples and go to 1024, goes down to 32 samples as well. So I haven't gone down. Let's try going down to, uh, well, to be blunt with you, uh, if you're tracking, that's one thing. But if you were mixing, you'd be right up at high sample rates because you wouldn't need, wouldn't need to worry about latency. So the only time the low sample is going to kick in is uh, when you are tracking. So let's go to 64 samples. And let's imagine we've got this track now here. I'm running it on three processes. So I've got the spare processor running on my Mac. Let's go new. And let's imagine we're going to track a new drum kit. So I'm going to put eight mono tracks down. We're going to create them. There they are as the tracks. Let's just slam this into record and see what would happen if we added these eight mono tracks in as well. So I'm just going to put them in record. Uh, it doesn't have an active input assigned. So I'm going to choose an input now. Uh, So at the moment it's not showing an interface, so let me just change that. I'm going to go to I.O. I'm using HD Omni, input, I'm going to go to default. So there we go, I've got my interface working now. Uh, I've got the old output issue, so I'm just going to create the, quickly delete the path, which might say I've got problems, but there we go, that should work now. Good, so let's give these ones a new input. So I'll give them A1, it doesn't really matter. And also I'm running on battery power, as you saw that as well. Let's put them into record now. And I should really have my power supply for So we're running on battery, and this is running to an external USB to USB drive, and then we're going to record it. Here we go. As you can see so far, there doesn't seem to be an issue. I'm tracking at 64 samples, and it's already got, uh, so we're now 47 voices. So we've got 39 playback voices, eight additional voices. So let's say we're tracking a drum kit over this lot. And so far, we are not falling over. And I've got plugins instantiated as well. 
on the edge of the track's got reverb, got maxim, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, on my MacBook Air, which is unqualified, an i5, it's working. And it's working great. So, uh, we've been told it's i7 qualified. So, if you want to take the risk and get yourself a MacBook Air, or if you've got a MacBook Air and want to try Thunderbolt, then as I say, I've tested it and it seems to be really cool. What they often mean at Avid when they say that it's unqualified is that basically you're not going to get the support you want if you then go back and say I've got a MacBook Air i5 running with 4 gigabytes of, of, of RAM. But as I say, on my, this is a 2012 brand new, it's a week old, uh, and uh, it's, it's working. So there we go. Thanks for watching, and we're going to try and break something else soon. Uh, I think people want us to try and break the Thunderbolt box with the, uh, the, uh, the Apollo Thunderbolt now. So we'll try and get hold of ourselves, the Thunderbolt card in an Apollo, and then we will try and do what we did with the Thunderbolt box over at James's studio. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.